Hi folks, Peter Hill, field agronomist with Pioneer. Floppy corn or rootless corn syndrome, as we talk about it in the agronomy circles, uh, fairly common this year, at least throughout the eastern half of Texas. It's a phenomenon that is almost always associated with very rapid drying, windy conditions, warm, uh, in that V2 to V5 stage, because that's that, that time during growth and development that we are trying to grow the nodal roots, right? So here's a nodal root that was attempting to grow, but dried out. And so when we have a lot of wind, a lot of warmth, and if we have some high clay soils and we start to open up the row, down the row, if you will, that soil starts to shrink back a little bit, that allows the developing nodes underground to dry out. And it actually kills it. If it's severe enough, it'll actually kill each one of these nodes that's trying to grow. It can be a function of which side of the plant. It can be a function of planting depth as to whether, there, whether or not the nodes survive. It's also a function of soil condition at the time of planting. For example, a lot of clods. So a lot of times we'll see this in fields that are very cloddy uh, because again, a lot of poor space around the clods allows that to dry out very rapidly. So on this particular plant, we've actually got a couple of, of nodal roots here and one on this side. And frankly, that's all that's holding this plant up and it's almost V7. So we really need some rain uh, to help this plant survive. And it can survive, but we've got to get some moisture in here. So I hope that helps you to understand a little bit about why you can get floppy corn or rootless corn syndrome, as we call it. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.